Campbell County High School JROTC held its Winter Raider Certification January 31st and February 1st. Certification ran from 3.30 Friday afternoon to midnight and picked up again Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. It included eight physically demanding events and four mental challenges over a 17-hour period of evaluation. The certification is a tough determination of which cadets are authorized to wear the highly desired Raider tab. Events included several back-to-back physical tasks like the mile run followed by the obstacle course and then the one-rope bridge in cold weather. Mental tests included written map reading and first aid exams. Final Friday events were not tying. Individual rope bridge and a cold night compass course. Raiders left at 12.30 Saturday featured tough tests and push-ups and sit-ups with a two-mile run in cold temperatures. Next came the day compass course, followed by a hike up Eagle Bluff, where it was even colder. The last task was a Class A uniform inspection. Twelve Raiders completed the certification, with one of them, Aubrey Nash, re-verifying her Raider tab. This was the first certification for Brandon Gibson, Hank Hamblin, Zach Holstein, Jessica Baird, and Hannah Yotis. They earned the Silver Raider Rifle Award. It was the second certification try for Damian Gutter, Hunter Hatmaker, Hunter Madron, Larry Smith, Desiree Crawford, and Abigail Kitch. They earned the Silver Raider Rifle with one star for their work. It was the third certification for Aubrey Nash. She earned the Silver Raider Rifle with two stars to go with her certified Raider tab. Finally, three Raiders earned the coveted Raider tab, passing at least eight of the 12 events. These new certified Raiders are Damian Goddard, Hunter Madron, and Abigail Kitts. The president of Roan State Community College visited the Campbell County campus on Friday to meet with local officials during a luncheon held at the school. While there, college president and area native Chris Whaley provided an update on the mission of Roan State as well as needs and goals for the school. One of the goals for the local campus is to eventually build a much-needed science lab, according to Whaley. One of our big dreams for this facility is a science lab because students currently have to drive to the Oak Ridge campus, Whaley said. He added that the time it took for students to travel to Oak Ridge, not to mention the cost of gas, was prohibitive. Paul Phillips, director of the Roan State Foundation also spoke briefly on the need for a science lab. Another goal discussed was the need for financial aid for non-traditional students such as working moms or dads who decided to go back to school. Whaley said he planned to come back periodically to give updates and listen to concerns and ideas from community leaders. It's the community's college. We see it every day. Lives are changed because you all support us and what we're doing. For more information about classes or workforce training, contact Roan State at 562-7021. You may see a more detailed story from Charlotte Underwood on our webpage at 1450wlaf.com. And that's a look at our news. We'll be back with the press release from the Sheriff's Department in just a moment. 
31 people have been booked in to the Campbell County Jail over this busy weekend. Patrick Thomas Anderson, 25, of Quail Run Lane, La Follette, for criminal impersonation, possession of drug paraphernalia. 29-year-old Erica Brooke Bowling of Big Four Road, La Follette, for public intoxication and possession of drug paraphernalia. James Daniel Carroll, 37, of Clinton, an attachment for child support. 44-year-old Tamela Joyce Durham of Ellison Road, La Follette, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. Brian McKenzie Ely, 33, of Kansas City, for failure to keep a log. 45-year-old Bobby Ray Elliott of Newcomb, for theft of property between $500 and $999 and vandalism. Dana Eugene Enix, 48, of Lake City, for DUI. 33-year-old Anthony Wayne Faust of North 15th Street, La Folly, on a capious bench warrant. Katie Goins, age 20, of West Forest Street, La Folly, for possession of a Schedule II controlled substance, public intoxication, and possession of a Schedule III controlled substance. 37-year-old Tanya Faye Heatherly of Russell Lane and Caraval for DUI, criminal trespassing, violation of the Tennessee financial law, and violation of the registration law. Corey Lee Scott Hinkle, age 20, of Pleasant Ridge, La Follette, for aggravated assault, by domestic violence. 32-year-old Mark Howard Housley of Lakeshore Lane, La Follette, for DUI and public intoxication. 39-year-old Christopher Jamie Lane of Russell Lane in Caraval for theft of property under $500. Dakota Scott Lane, 22, of Pleasant Ridge Road, La Follette, for theft of property under $500. 34-year-old John Jason Marlowe of Wartburg on an attachment for child support. Daryl Eugene Martin, 52, of Rose Hill Drive, La Follette, for domestic violence by assault. Courtney J. Neese, 22, of Breezeway Lane in Caraval, for domestic violence by assault and vandalism. 28-year-old Dustin Lee Overbay of Pike Lane in Caraval, an attachment for child support. 37-year-old Ronald L. Phillips of West Walden Street, La Follette, for domestic assault. William Thomas Poston, 36, of Forest Grove Road, La Follette, for failure to appear and on a capious bench warrant. 49-year-old Kimberly King Richardson of Wheeler Lane, La Follette, on a capious bench warrant. Andrew C. Rogers, 24, of Roach Lane in Caraval, for driving while suspended, theft of property under $500, and on a capious bench warrant. Reuben Joseph Sanchez, 28, of Tackett Loop in Caraval, on a capious bench warrant. 32-year-old Nathaniel Jerome Saylor of Wallace Lane in Jacksboro for introduction of contraband into a penal facility, public intoxication, possession of drug paraphernalia, and possession of a Schedule II controlled substance. 27-year-old Tracy Leah Shoops of Clinton for public intoxication. 26-year-old Christy Olivia Steeler of Brook Place Lane, La Follette, for theft of property under $500. Dustin Lee Sumner, 23, of Jellicoe, for possession of a Schedule II controlled substance, possession of a Schedule IV controlled substance, public intoxication, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Daniel Wallace, 34, of Big Four Road, La Follette, criminal impersonation 
and on a capious bench warrant. 19-year-old Marissa Nicole Wallace of Landmark Road in Jacksboro for theft of property under $500. 36-year-old Richard Wallace of West Walden Street, La Follette for filing a false report or bomb threat. And last today, Benny Arthur Watkins, 54, of Robin Road, La Follette, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. And that's the 31 that were booked into the jail over the weekend. Thank you for joining us. Be back with us tomorrow. We'll be back here about the same time with the latest news for you. Hey, Big Josh with you. On this Monday evening, we're looking at our birthdays and anniversaries. Our birthday and anniversary club is brought to you by your friends here at WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. They're located in the Food Line Center. You need to stop by and check them out. Say hey, and while you're there, try out some of that fabulous food. Tell them you heard about it right here at the old radio station and TV 12. Cody Jones celebrates today. Happy birthday to you, Cody. Steve Campbell is celebrating. Happy birthday to Steve. And Ellen Ford's having a birthday today. Happy birthday, Ellen. Kenny Gillum's having a birthday today. Happy birthday to you, Kenny. Hack Ayers is celebrating today. Happy birthday to you, Hack. Yesterday, Bobby Oric and J.R. Bryant celebrated a birthday. Happy belated birthday to J.R. and Bobby. And on Friday, uh, Mr. Herschel Turner turned 74 years old uh, on Friday. So happy belated birthday to you, Herschel. We hope your day was special. And we hope everybody had a great day. Now, if you're celebrating today for some reason we don't have your name, why, you need to get your name in here. If you, uh, if you want to be eligible for the drawing on Friday, that's how you do that, is we have your name on our list. So if it's a little late, go ahead, call it in, and uh, you maybe won't be sorry about that. You would be eligible to win a birthday dinner for two or an anniversary dinner for two from your friends here at WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli, located in the Food Lion Center. Good Lord willing, we'll be back here tomorrow at about this same time.